Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. David Sisson, Team Pacquiao, officially titled Manny Pacquiao's assistant, correct? Yeah. All right. Obviously, the training camp is going tremendous from what I've heard from everybody in Team Manny. The fight is closing in. Talk to me. Pacquiao versus Spent, legendary fight. We got 18 days left. Uh, it's going to be a great fight, uh, August 21st, T-Mobile Arena. We usually fight at MGM Grand, so it's going to be fun being able to fight at a bigger you know, arena. Uh, better sound, better, you know, everything's better there. But it's going to be a fun fight. It's going to be a fight that the fans are going to go away and say, hey, that was worth my money. So we're excited, man. He's excited. He's looking good. Uh, we're right where we want to be. We're getting ready for the fight. Two southpaws going head to head. Obviously, Earl Spence is in his prime. He's tall, he's rangy, he's coming out fighting. Keith Thurman, Porter, and now Pacquiao. I mean, talk, talk about the, the, the styles, how they will match up. Oh, I think it's a perfect style for both of them. The, like I said, the, the fans are going to win this fight. You know what I mean? They're going to get their money's worth, and it's going to be an entertaining fight, definitely. It's, I mean, it's up for grabs. It's not a one-sided fight. I mean, both, uh, yeah, man, he's older, but he's looking good, man. He's looking young. People ask me, how is he able to... Even during the runs, keep you've seen it. Keep up with uh, younger guys running, different things at 42 years old. And I said, comes down to discipline. He's disciplined. Like whatever he eats during training camp, he eats the same thing out of training camp. And younger fighters out there want to be, you know, a great. That's that's what it takes to be a great. It, it takes discipline. It takes after you finish training camp, after a fight, you can't just go partying and eating whatever you want. Try to stay, you know, consistent. Try to stay disciplined. And so when you go back into training camp. You don't spend all your time losing all that weight. You can get right into training. So, yeah, Manny's been able to fight with the young guys even at 42 because of discipline. One of his stable mates and uh, sparring partners for previous camps, Arnold Gonzalez, said that he's even trained 36 rounds yeah. for this fight, which is crazy. <laughs> and that during breaks, he doesn't stop. He doesn't stop moving. He doesn't stop jumping. Talk about that. That's it's unheard just, of. Yeah, even... Uh, even Clay Thompson was in the gym the other day, and he's like, how does this guy able to do this? You know what I mean? At 42 years old, Clay Thompson, even uh, uh, Jordan Clarkson said the same thing. Man, I just want to go get in the gym right now and work out. The guy motivates me, and he motivates everybody. He, it motivates people not just in the Philippines here in America, really people around the world. And that's something that is, you know, something to be proud of, really. Talk about that interaction between Clay Thompson and Manny Pacquiao, obviously, too. Yeah, yeah two guys, you know, Clay with three rings and Manny and all-time great in the boxing uh, boxing realm. So, yeah, those two guys being in the same gym together, just Clay looking out, you know, watching Manny. He loved it, man. It was just fun to be able to have him in training camp. Now, when the fight was initially announced, Pacquiao was a 4-1 underdog. Yeah. Now that has moved. Now he's like a one and a quarter. So. Yeah. Talk about that. It's it's changed a lot. I've seen. I think uh, the odds were so different at the beginning. It's just because at the beginning people are like they haven't seen Manny in two years. He's 42 years old. So a lot of people, a lot of speculation. So after we, you know, videos start going out, his training camp, people start to see a little glimpse of it. They're like, man, Manny's still Manny Pacquiao. So I think that changed a lot. But it's gonna be fun. I can't wait, man. Obviously, uh, David, you're very close to Manny, so you you see and hear things that we don't. If you can give us just one or two little nuggets of what Pacquiao's mentality going into this fight or something you want the people to know. His focus is there. I know everybody knows about, you know, politics back home in the Philippines, people trying to get him distracted here and there, but his focus to be able just to, you know, keep his mind on the main thing, and the main thing is just stay focused training, you know, don't lose his sight, don't get distracted, and comes down to discipline again keeping your uh, mind sharp keeping your focus there so and, um, lastly um, where does this pack out if he does pull it off and if he pulls this fight off I mean who knows what's going to happen during the fight that's that's going to be fun everybody's going to be watching what happens but if he pulls it off he's one of the all time greats he really are, already is one he of the all time greats all -time but I uh, man you talking about what he did when he was in you know his teens to his 20s to his 30s and then still knocking out the top welterweight at 42 come on guys like that, that's Ali's status you know what I mean right yes so. I agree all right what, what can we follow on social media 
anything you want to plug, anything you want to let the viewers Just uh, enjoy the fight. Uh, thank you. Uh, Manny always says he takes time. You've seen it. He takes time Every for day. the media and for his fans. because More so for fans. Which oh, yeah. For his fans, it's just all the time signing stuff and taking time, taking pictures and stuff. But he, he says he wouldn't be where he is today if it wasn't for his fans. So he always takes time, and he appreciates the fans because – you know he's been able to do what he does because of you guys so thank you for all the support for uh manny pacquiao for the team and uh, pray for him pray for him while he prepares this it is a dangerous fight it really is you know but sometimes my heart gets a little because i love the guy you know yeah. what i mean i know uh what he's done for the sport of boxing for the philippines so yeah i wouldn't be where i am today if it wasn't for manny pacquiao so uh yeah it is a little scary but yeah just pray for him and yeah see you guys august 21st yeah, that's my way Thank you, Thank you guys.